Hey guys, and welcome back to another weekly vlog. actually starting this vlog off a little bit late in the week just because I didn't have a lot going on and honestly I was actually editing multiple videos so I just had a lot to do but right now I am filming a transitional outfits video featuring most of my Zara clothes so I really hope that you guys actually like this video because I have so many more outfit ideas honestly I could do these videos for days and days and days I have so many ideas um, and I thought that I would just show you guys what I'm wearing because I know you're gonna ask because this green is so pretty. Okay, so I am wearing this flowy green top from Zara that actually I have the matching green pants to. It's in one of my Zara hauls that I showed you guys. And I absolutely love it. Just look at it with the gold jewelry and so easy to throw on and um, just put a nice little outfit together. I'm wearing my wide leg jeans that I showed you guys in my jeans haul and this tank is also from Zara. It's just a little cropped white rib tank. Oh, and I haven't showed you guys my earrings. Hello, hi there, she's arrived to the party. Um, these, I just felt like I needed a statement hoop. Like I just needed something a little chunkier a little bit different than what I already had. I think that these are perfect. They're not too in your face, but they're definitely a statement. And they're more of like a matte color, which I'm loving. I love the texture on the earrings. So I am not actually done filming my Zara haul. We are currently behind the scenes of the making of the Zara haul. So I guess I'll just show you kind of the behind the scenes. So we have some shoes, okay? We have some blazers, because I know we're all waiting for blazer season. Anyways, I don't really know your reaction to my last vlog filming behind the scenes of like making a reel and all that stuff because I haven't posted it yet. But I'm assuming that you guys like that kind of content because it is sort of including fashion and how I put all my things together. So I thought I would show you again today. But uh, yeah, so if you wanna see the behind the scenes of making a Zara video, then just keep watching. to see if I like the angle or I feel like I got the shot or you know I just I always check it right away to make sure that I like it so 
I definitely can tell that I nailed it. I really like the way that I was moving in the video. And I even added some extra clips so that I could make it into a reel. Whenever I'm filming my try on clips, I use that as the time to create a reel just because I'm already dressed. I already have the outfit on. You're killing two birds with one stone. And then on top of that, I have a tripod that has, I have a tripod that has a little remote right there. So I set it up from the very beginning in a position where I'm gonna like the video and the photo together. So, if I go like this and then I go to photo, I can already tell that I like the setup and um, I have enough space in my photo to crop it for the four x four on Instagram. So once I'm done with the video clip, then I'll go ahead and snap some pictures while I'm at it. And that's just the way that I've been able to get a little bit more consistent with Instagram because I've had an issue with that. I started to get consistent and then I started moving and then it took me a while to find out the angles and the place that I liked to take the pictures. And I'm not quite at the point yet, especially in this heat, to just go outside and be taking a million outfit pictures. So I'm thankful that I have this blank wall and it works. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's something that I would do if you're doing the same thing is to just do it all in one shot. That way you have your try on clip for your video your reel made and a picture of the outfit kill three birds with one stone okay just finished filming but this outfit is so good I have to show you if you have the green dress this green dress this green dress this is how you take it from summer into a transitional outfit throw a crew neck on over it make it a little more chic with some black sunglasses and there you go This dress is not dead yet, ladies, okay? It is actually Friday at like 10 a.m. Um, it's been a little hectic this week, so I haven't picked up the camera a lot. But today we are going back to Zara because I have some returns to make. And then I also uh, just kind of wanted to do some little shopping, you know, a little, a little browse. Never hurt anybody. Um, and I really wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing because I'm getting in the last bit of pink and orange that I possibly can while the weather, while it's still technically summer, even though it's going to be hot here for a very long time. So I thought I would show you. I haven't worn this set in a long, 
in a while. I actually got it in one of my spring, spring summer Zara hauls. I'll link it above in case you haven't seen it. And I feel like this is so underrated because it's a two piece biker set. The flower part, I mean. The flower part is a two piece biker set. And um, it's like an athletic material, but I just think it's so cute. I just adore this. I'm not a flower kind of person. I don't, I also don't really like a lot of prints. So this is diff a little different for me. And I just paired it with my pink oversized Zara shirt. And you guys probably don't really know this about me because I haven't really showed it a lot, I guess, but I am a sneaker girl, okay? I love sneakers. I wouldn't call myself a sneaker head because my collection isn't huge, but I have always loved sneakers and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to wear some cute sneakers. So I'll show you what I got. So I'm wearing these Air Max, Jesus, I can't even, I can't even remember which Air Max these are, but if you follow Sherlina Nim on Instagram, you will see her with these and that is the reason that I got them is because of Sherlina. She was my inspo. Um, love these. They definitely give you like at least an inch of height. This weekend, we might actually be doing some fun activities. So if we are, I will definitely bring you guys with me since I haven't picked up the camera very much this week. But yeah, I will possibly see you at the mall at some point today. <laughs> So it is Sunday at what 10 38 so I actually rented a cabana at this place called the Oasis um, Oasis Arizona Grand Resort, the Oasis Water Park or whatever. So that's where we're going. You guys excited? Yeah. Let's go. So this place has like cabanas that you can run out and they have uh, water slides, they have a wave pool, a lazy river and all that stuff. So we're just going to go have fun and enjoy this beautiful Sunday. Mom, I want to talk to you. We're also dropping yeah. Zeus off at this uh, doggy daycare because we're probably going to be gone for a lot of hours. So we want him to have fun and be safe. So that's what we're on our way to do right now. And then we're going to go to the resort, which is in Phoenix. Ha, ha, ha. 